The Israeli-Palestinian conflict dominates American news coverage of international issues. Given that news coverage is Americans' main source of information on the conflict, it becomes important to examine the stories the news media are telling us and to ask the question, does the news coverage reflect the reality on the ground? One form of this fabricated disagreement is the effort to mystify the conflict, to envelop it in this ideological cloud, and to pretend that it simply can't be understood unless you have some grasp, or you could be grasp, of rocket, you know, a rocket science or particle physics. That this is a very uh, difficult con conflict to understand. Uh, it goes back to ancient things, like it goes back to biblical enmities, ancient hatreds, or more recently, clashes of religion. Grandma lived in the old city of Jerusalem. Before 1948, he'll tell you how he lived and coexisted with all the Arab neighbors, how they played beside each other. הרצל בז לכל מי שלא נחשב בעיניו מודרני, תרבותי, נאצל ונאור. בראש ובראשונה היו אלה אותם יהודים בני עמו שומרי תורה ומסורת. יסודות ורעיונות אנטישמיים כפי שבאים לידי ביטוי ביומנו ובמאמריו. הכמרים הנוצרים הם ברום המדרגה, מפני שאינם להוטים אחרי הכסף. הנוצרים הפשוטים טובים הם מכמרי היהודים. יחס זה חושף למעשה את הפן האנטישמי בתורת הרצל. הרצל מספק תימוכים ולגיטימציה לרדיפה האנטישמית ואף מעודד אותה. רעיון מצוין עולה בלבי, למשוך אנטישמים ישרים ולעשותם מחסלי הרכב. רעיון מצוין עולה בלבי, למשוך אנטישמים The Zionists in Germany, who represented the Zionists from Eastern Europe, went to the British War Cabinet, and I'm going to be brief because it's a long story, but I have all the documents to prove any statement that I make. If anyone here is curious or doesn't believe what I have possible, the Zionists in London went to the British War Cabinet, and they said, Look here, you can yet win this war. You don't have to give up. You don't have to accept the negotiated peace offered to you now by Germany. You can win this war 
If the United States will come in as your ally, the United States was not in the war at that time. We were fresh, we were young, we were rich, we were powerful. And they told England, we will guarantee to bring the United States into the war as your ally, to fight with you on your side, if you will promise us Palestine after you win the war. In other words, they made this deal. We will get the United States into this war as your ally. The price you must pay up is Palestine after you have won the war and defeated Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Turkey. It wasn't just Swiss bankers who dealt with Hitler's right. While war raged, there were British and American bankers who continued to do business with the Nazis. The BIS channeled investments from the Allied powers into Germany for the expansion of her economy. So, by 1816, some authors claim the Rothschilds had taken control over the Bank of England. But a group of Zionists at the same time was quietly negotiating an agreement with the Nazis to allow the immigration of German Jews and the transfer of their assets to Palestine. That deal, reported in August 1933, was the transfer agreement. Palestine, sparsely settled by Jews at the time, was radically changed as a result. Revealing secret negotiation between the Nazis and the Zionists in 1933, which allowed German Jews and their assets to go to Palestine. Well, with the rise of Adolf Hitler to power in the spring of 1933, the Jews of the world were faced with a dilemma. They could raise a cry of protest, a cry few would heed, or they could make a deal with Hitler. A deal that would bring a step closer their dream of an independent Jewish state. And perhaps the fourth and most prevalent myth has been that of Zionism as the moral legatee of the victims of the Holocaust. And what is particularly savage in the irony that surrounds this claim is the fact that the Zionist movement and the Zionist leaders itself were the active collaborators with the perpetrators of the Holocaust. They participated in the suppression of Jewish resistance and they organized a uh, consistent opposition to any escape on the part of European Jewry. 